The deepest postseason run in boys soccer in school history comes to a halt for Kirtland with a 2-0 loss to Kittren Central Christian on Saturday afternoon in a Division Three regional final down at Wadsworth. A tough result here for the Hornets, and I want to take nothing away from Kittren Central Christian. They deserve this result. They had a 6-1 advantage in shots on target. They possessed beautifully. They combined with pace through midfield. The defending was immaculate. They deserve this result. 1-0 may have been a fair reflection of this match, given how well the Hornets played. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. But it, it, it's just so difficult to not come out of this match and not talk about what happened there in the seventh minute. Jared Iannero wins a ball in midfield for Kirtland. Sends a nice diagonal ball out wide left for Stepan Meech Barisic. Uh, he makes a run into the box, slots his finish. All of a sudden, you see the linesman's flag go up for offside. Officials have a thankless and impossible job, and you have to take human error into account. You have to take the good with the bad and everything in between. But in this particular instance, looking at it in real time, I think that this offside call in particular was a disturbingly bad call. And those will happen from time to time throughout the course of a season. You have to deal with it, but Stepan was, to me at least, a yard and a half on side, and he was being played on side by two center backs for Kidron. And for a call like that to be flubbed, it was a howler. It was a bad call. And but that'll happen. You know, again, you have to respect that how difficult of a job that officials have, and you just have to live with it. it it's a tough deal, but that's just the way it is. And uh, you know, but obviously, if that goal stands. It's a 1-0 match in the seventh minute in favor of Kirtland. Completely changes the complexion there. Kidron has given up four goals all year. They have 17 clean sheets. So obviously, they haven't played from behind pretty much all year. And you're putting them in a position in which they have to figure out a way to go get an equalizer. And that changes the entire course of the match. So it's a shame that... That becomes a narrative in, in the grand scheme of things here, but it does, and and that's the way it is. I, in my opinion, it was a bad call, and you know I'm 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 sorry to say that you know with all due respect to the linesman, but it was a bad call. In the natural flow of attack, uh, Curlin generated seven corners in the second half. They only had one shot on target. They didn't get as much danger out of set pieces as they needed. And I also think there was an opportunity here and there for switches. I think that the right back for Kidron in that back four was creeping in a little bit too much inside at times, which opened up the switch for Stepan out wide left as the outside striker in a 4-3-3. Unfortunately, either it wasn't picked up quickly enough or it wasn't picked up at all. And But that'll happen on a big stage. You have to take advantage of the opportunities you have. Not everything is going to go right in the natural flow of attack, and, and, and it didn't here. But, you know, that's not to say anything bad about the Hornets' work rate. It was it was very good for 80 minutes here. They get it to a nil-nil match there past the hour mark, and then Kidron's able to get a couple goals to see out the result. A free kick on a nice quick restart there on the edge of the box in the 61st, and a nice service there near post for a finish uh, just before full time for the final margin. Kidron deserved to move on with the way that they played as a total body of work, but again, it just would have been nice to see what would have happened if Kirtland would have been able to get that goal to stand, but that doesn't take anything away from the season that the Hornets had. Another quality campaign, making history, finally getting over the hump and winning that first district title, uh, winning a regional semifinal match against the South Range side that went to a state final a year ago. Nothing at all to be ashamed of from a Kirtland point of view. Valuable senior class leaving, but some good young pieces in place coming back next year. Uh, John has things uh, going in the right direction, just like he always has. And it's even a, on a better trajectory, in my opinion, after making an Elite Eight charge that ends with a 2-0 loss to Kidron Central Christian on Saturday.